Ladies and gentlemen, we would like to invite you to watch the English Chinese news on the essential television channel of Dongnai Province. Vietnam currently has over 39.4 thousand valid FDI projects, with a total investment capital of over 473 billion USD. Although the global new investment trend is slowing down, Vietnam is still a bright spot in attracting FDI. One of Vietnam's competitive advantages in attracting this capital flow is that a series of key large-scale infrastructure projects have been started, thereby creating synchronization and helping to remove long-standing bottlenecks on transportation and logistics infrastructure. This has also created a big boost for businesses localities and regions in exploiting potentials and advantages to attract FDI. Foreign investors also highlight appreciate the quality of infrastructure connecting localities in recent years, especially after COVID-19. Expressway sections are creating huge impetus for the economy with a commitment to be completed by 2025 to create similar transport infrastructure, thereby improving logistics efficiency and inter-regional connectivity. The Ministry of Planning and Investment said that in the coming term, it will focus on continuing to complete and accelerate the progress of large-scale infrastructure projects. Acting Chairman of the Nai Provincial People's Committee, Bo Tung Duc, has to assign the plan to implement the project consolidating the organizational structure, improving state management capacity and enforcing laws on digital transformation from central to local levels by 2025, orientation to 2030. The goal is that by 2025, Dunai will have 100% of departments, branches and localities consolidate the organization of their units, arrange full-term or part-term personnel and information technology to enhance the implementation of tasks, new solutions for digital transformation. 100% of units specializing in information technology are increased in staffing from assigned local staffing sources to meet the requirements of implementing new tasks and solutions on digital transformation. 100% of departments, branches and localities focus on arranging departments of focal points to carry out digital transformation tasks and solutions at agencies and units. 100% of organizations and individuals in the digital transformation network have access to and use nationally unified digital platforms and toolkits. According to the United Statistics Department, goods produced in the province are currently exported to more than 170 countries and territories, including the four largest export markets, accounting for nearly 55% of the province export turnover. The nice largest export market is the United States, accounting for nearly 29.5% of total export turnover. Next is Japan, accounting for nearly 10.7%, China with more than 9.3%, and South Korea with about 5.3%. From the beginning of the year until now, the export turnover of girls to major markets has increased compared to the same period last year. Currently, businesses in Dunai receive more orders, so it is likely that export turnover in March 2024 will continue to increase. It is expected that export orders that will have good growth in the first quarter of 2024 are foodware, coffee, textiles, cashiers, wood brothers, machinery, equipment, and spare parts. Other seminar provided information on the harmful effect of new cigarettes. The Ministry of Health said that authorities have taken many measures, 
but the use of e-cigarettes and new cigarettes is still popular and increasing rapidly at an alarming rate, especially among young people. The tobacco industry is promoting this as a healthier product than cigarettes. While the mechanism works, the harmful health effects of new generation cigarettes are not really reduced compared to traditional cigarettes. According to medical experts, there are three groups of substances harmful to health in e-cigarettes, including nicotine, chemical additives, and drugs. With many harmful health consequences, the Ministry of Health said it will have a draft document to submit to the government and the National Assembly to soon take measures to manage new generation tobacco products through the issuance of a resolution banning the production, sales, import, and advertising of heated cigarettes, electronic cigarettes, and other new tobacco products. Ho Chi Minh City Zoo and Botanical Garden were built by the French in 1864 and has a history of 106 years of formation and development. This is the zoo with the eighth longest lifespan in the world and is a famous botanical garden with thousands of endemic spices. With values of biodiversity, history and spiritual culture, the zoo is a heritage in the heart of Ho Chi Minh City. Located in the heart of District 1, Ho Chi Minh City, the zoo has an area of nearly 20 hectares with nearly 2,000 individual animals, 140 rare species of animals that need to be protected such as pheasants and golden deer, along with 350 species of woody plants, of which 20 species are in the Red Book, such as sandalwood and redwood. Entering the zoo is like entering a green space. During the tour, I met many new and unknown creatures. Having a zoo like this in the heart of Saigon is very necessary. Currently, many works here are imbued with French architecture, such as the tiger cage relic, the ancient monkey cage, and the bronze elephant statue awarded by the Thai king. In particular, the zoo has a century-old plant collection with rows of trees hundreds of years old that few zoos in the world have. The zoo still has ancient relics. We aim to propose recognition of these relics because once the relics are recognized, we will have better conditions to preserve them. Witnessing and marking many historical periods of the country and the ancient land of Saigon Yadun, such as Nhan Hung Restaurant, Saigon Commando, since the early days, the zoo and botanical garden has entered the subconscious of southern people. The zoo today is an attractive tourist destination, not only attracting young visitors every year, but also a place for many people to rediscover their childhood memories. The zoo has become a large and unique ecosystem of the country, the green lung of Ho Chi Minh City, bringing many scientific and social values, and is a heritage treasure that is receiving special attention in preservation and development.